This is Marvin Harrison Jr., one of the best receivers at the college level. His dad is even in the NFL Hall of Fame, but he has had to work harder than everyone else. I know what you're thinking. If his dad is an NFL legend, why would he have to work harder? That's because his battle is off the field. It's not even merely from the pressure of filling his dad's shoes. It's about what happened on West Thompson Street on April 29th, 2008. A shooting occurred injuring a man named Dwight Dixon who claimed to be in an altercation with Marvin Harrison Sr. Things took a dark turn when a year later, Dwight Dixon was murdered a few blocks away from the original incident. Forensic evidence showed the caliber used to kill Dixon matched a rare Belgium handgun Marvin Sr. owned. In order to understand the ripple effect this had on Marvin Jr., we need to go back to his childhood. Before the incident, growing up with Marvin Harrison Sr. as your dad isn't just about having NFL royalty in the family. It's like getting a masterclass in football from day one. Imagine soaking up game wisdom over breakfast, getting pointers on your route running in the backyard, and having access to all the insider tips most players would kill for. Well, that's the world Marvin Harrison Jr. grew up in. It's not just the genes, though those certainly don't hurt. It's about the environment. Marvin Sr. reflecting on those backyard sessions shared, when you see success, you explain to him, this is why you're good. This is why this happened, because you worked for it. Now, it was around this age where that shooting happened. This was a pivotal moment in Marvin Jr.'s life. He had to face criticism from classmates, asking if his dad, who played at the Super Bowl, is now a murderer. This would undoubtedly shake Marvin Jr.'s perception of his dad. It was the decisions that Marvin Jr. made during this time that would shape his character forever. Transitioning to middle school, Marvin began to truly distinguish himself. Marvin Sr. saying, he's never satisfied, that's just how he's wired. This was a sentiment echoed by those watching him play. This drive for constant improvement was evident in every game and every practice. His approach to football was a reflection of his father's teachings, always looking for room for improvement, never resting on past losses. His middle school years were not without challenges. One of those being having an NFL Hall of Famer as your dad can definitely bring some big expectations. But this pressure arguably helped him, allowing him to refine his routes, his catching, and mindset towards the game. Moving on from middle school, Marvin went to La Sela College High School, but shortly after, he decided to transfer to St. Joseph's Prep. This change in environment came with some challenges. With rumors circulating about the death of Dixon, undoubtedly people started to question Marvin Jr., but he didn't let that stop him from performing. Alongside quarterback Kyle McCord, he became part of a duo that would lead their team to three consecutive state championships. He also set a record for the Philadelphia Catholic League, getting 2,625 receiving yards and 37 receiving touchdowns, a testament to their strategy and determination. This period of growth was crucial, not just in honing his athletic proudness, but also in developing a resilience and focus that would serve him well in his college career. However, the pandemic posed a unique challenge, yet Harrison Jr. and McCord's commitment to excellence never wavered. They took to the field at 6 a.m. to practice, a clear indication of their determination to improve and succeed at the highest level. This dedication paid off as Harrison Jr. caught the eye of Ohio State's coaching staff early on, securing an offer by his sophomore year. His prowess as a blocker, a trait highly valued during Urban Meyer's tenure at Ohio State, combined with his ability to make plays and his relentless work ethic made him an ideal fit for the Buckeyes. At Ohio State, Marvis Jr. entered a program renowned for its production of standout wide receivers, the Mount Rush more, if you will. The culture of excellence fostered by the Buckeyes, especially under the guidance of coach Brian Hartline, was perfect timing for Marvin Jr.'s ambitions and work ethic. Despite the depth of talent in the wide receiver room, including first-round NFL talents like Chris Alav and Garrett Wilson, he found his place and purpose as he adjusted to the college level. The decision to join Ohio State was influenced by more than just the program's history of success. It was Hartline's approach to developing his players, not just as athletes, but as individuals, focusing on their mental growth alongside the physical and technical skills. Marvin Jr.'s impact at Ohio State has been nothing short of phenomenal. From his breakout performance in the Rose Bowl, showcasing his capacity to step up when his team needed him the most, Marvis Jr. has proven he does not fold under the pressure given to him by the spotlight of his dad. Instead, he has used it to his advantage. 
his remarkable ability to catch, run precise routes, and just even his athleticism have led many to consider him as the next future NFL superstar. The buzz around Harrison Jr. is not just about his athletic talent, but also his mental fortitude and leadership qualities. His approach to the game focusing on continuous improvement and contributing to his teammate success in any way possible. This sets him apart as a player posed for greatness beyond college. As teams assess his skills and potential, Harrison Jr.'s combination of physical prowess and football IQ will undoubtedly make him one of the most talked about prospects. Marvin Harrison Jr.'s transition to the NFL is not just anticipated to be successful, it's expected to be transformative for the lucky team that secures his talent. With the potential to make an immediate impact as a rookie, Harrison Jr. is a type of player whom around offenses can be built. His ability to stretch the field, coupled with his knack for making critical catches in traffic, makes him a dual threat receiver capable of thriving in various offensive strategies. Predictions for his rookie season include standout performances and a seamless adaption to the NFL's pace and physicality. Despite there being pressure in his rookie season, many are anticipating he will do well. As his career progresses, the future for Marvin Jr. looks incredibly bright. Comparisons to his father's career are inevitable, but Marvin Jr. is on a trajectory to define his own legacy. Analysts see him as a star receiver ready for the NFL, ready to be a foundational receiver for any team that gets him. But his commitment to excellence, leadership, qualities, and ability to elevate the play of those around him will make him the best, a cornerstone of his franchise for years to come. With the right development and support, Harrison Jr. could well well surpass the high expectations set for him, achieving a level of success that cements his place among the NFL's elite receivers and continuing the Harrison legacy in professional football. In terms of the events that transpired involving the death of Dwight Dixon, Marvin Sr. said his gun was locked away at his home during the time of the incident. A few eyewitnesses had conflicting testimonies, leaving Marvin Sr. to remain free. However, many speculate what went down to this day. In the eyes of the law, Marvin Harrison Sr. is free, but the blow to his reputation is noteworthy. As Marvin Jr. enters the NFL draft, how will his father's legacy affect him? Most likely, he'll probably do what he's always been doing, put his head down and do the work. And that's what makes Marvin Harrison Jr. not just a receiver, but a true champion. If you made it this far, consider subscribing, and I think you might like one of these other videos. I'll see you in the next one.